Have you ever had that sinking feeling in a relationship? Those moments when you question your own sanity? If you've ever found yourself wondering, am I going crazy here? Well, hold on tight, because this video is about to take you on an emotional roller coaster that a relationship with a narcissist always is. We'll be delving into real life scenarios that will have you nodding and thinking, I've been there too. This is unfiltered, relatable, and as raw as it gets. So grab that notepad, follow along to the end, and by the time this nine minute video is over, your understanding of your own relationships will be crystal clear. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll play the victim even when she's wrong. You're at a loud party, and all night, you've been noticing she's getting too cozy with some guy you've never met. They're laughing, talking deep, and she's openly flirting. Back at home, that uneasy feeling from the party won't leave you alone. You say, hey, who's that guy you were getting so close to? She looks at you, surprised and annoyed. Seriously, you're always so suspicious. I can't believe you don't trust me. I thought you knew me better. And then she starts crying. And now you're feeling like a jerk. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll gaslight you into questioning your reality. You're sitting on the couch, talking about the future like adults do. You bring up this plan you both agreed on. You know, the one you were pretty stoked about. You're feeling good, thinking things are on track. But then, out of the blue, she gives you that look like you're speaking an alien language. You're like, Wait, hold on, we talked about this. You agreed, but she acts like you're pulling some elaborate prank. Discuss what? We never talked about that. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll be overly controlling in the relationship. You're really into cooking, right? You love trying out new recipes, getting creative in the kitchen. But here's the deal. Every time you try to whip up something tasty, your girlfriend takes charge. She tells you what to cook and how to cook it. It's been driving you crazy. Plus, the moment you use a dish, she swoops in, cleans it, and tosses it into the dishwasher faster than you can blink. You've tried to playfully confront her about it, but she gets visibly upset because she's just trying to help. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll rarely show genuine remorse when she is in the wrong. For example, the weekend is here, and you were really looking forward to a laid-back night, catching your all-time favorite sports game. You talked it out earlier in the week, and both agreed it was your turn to choose what to do. Out of nowhere, she hits you with, Why are you so obsessed with that dumb game? It's such a waste of time. You say, Come on, we promised we wouldn't do this. She smirks and says, You're way too sensitive. I was just joking. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll use flattery to manipulate you. You've been eyeing Tesla Model 3 for a while, and your girlfriend knows it, she keeps talking about it and how sexy you would look driving it. It's a big purchase. So, you want to save some more cash first, but she goes, Why wait? You work so hard, you deserve to enjoy the best of toys. One evening, she asks if she can borrow it for a quick errand. Of course, you say yes. Then, five days later, she's going out with her girlfriends and her car is out of gas. Could she maybe borrow yours again, since it's fully charged? And also, she kind of wants to show her friends how successful and caring her man is. And you say yes again. Fast forward to summer, and you guessed it, it's her toy now. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll erode your bonds with others. Your childhood buddy's back in town after being gone for years. You're really excited to see him, and you tell her about it, thinking she'd be as excited as you are. She seems to be. But, the day before you meet with him, she comes down with the worst migraine of her life. She spends the whole day in bed. Worried about her, you cancel your plans. You wake up next morning, and she is completely fine. You have a fleeting thought of calling your friend again, but you feel really bad, even suggesting it. So, you don't, and you stay home. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll employ the silent treatment as punishment. You've noticed she's been shopping a lot lately like designer clothes and accessories. Even though you both agreed to stick to a budget, it's causing financial strain. You try talking to her about it, telling her how worried you are, she just clams up. Days go by and it's like you're invisible, but her silence makes you feel like you're the one to blame. You even think about saying sorry, even though you know you're right, just to make the silence stop and bring back some peace. 
When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll keep score of your mistakes. She's pretty upset because you couldn't attend her family gathering earlier in the day. You explain that you had prior commitments and that you genuinely tried to rearrange things, but she's not convinced. Then, out of the blue, she goes, I think you just forgot. Like, how you forgot our anniversary, you can't believe this. Wait, seriously? It was five years ago. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll be prone to sudden anger. You are scrambling to get out the door in the morning, but you can't find your keys anywhere. You ask her if she's seen them. She blows up. Why should I know where your keys are? I'm not your personal assistant. You're seriously so forgetful, it's ridiculous. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she knows how to use your guilt against you. Work's been a real grind lately, and your buddy Alex has really been there for you. You really appreciate him, and you decide to share that with your girlfriend. You say, hey babe, you wouldn't believe how awesome Alex has been during all this. He's had my back. She lets out this sigh and goes, so, I guess he's your designated support person now. You didn't mean to make it a contest or anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. You mean the world to me. Our relationship is everything. I'm just grateful to have Alex as a friend, that's all. But she's not ready to let it slide. Well, it sure sounded like he's better at being there for you than I am. Now, you're stuck with this guilt. You might even think twice about hanging out with Alex in the near future because you don't want to stir up this kind of situation again. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she's blaming you for her mistakes. She's cooking dinner and you are keeping her company, sipping on beer. Somehow, she ends up burning it to a crisp. Smoke fills the air, alarm goes off, the dog goes nuts. Instead of taking a deep breath and laughing, she gets angry at you, says, you're always distracting me. Now look what you had me do. You try to defend yourself. Wait, what? I wasn't doing anything. I was just keeping you company. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she'll struggle with true emotional intimacy. You're lying in bed on a lazy Sunday morning. You start talking about your passion for photography and how you've always dreamed of traveling the world to take pictures. Your girlfriend seems distant, disinterested. You ask gently, what's on your mind, babe? She lets out a sigh. I guess I just don't get why you're so obsessed with this. I mean, you're always talking about it and it feels like you care more about your camera than you do about me. When your girlfriend is a narcissist, she will project her own insecurities on you. You are really stoked about this new job opportunity. Finally, a chance to work in your field with cool projects and a big bump in your paycheck. As you spill the beans to your girlfriend, you notice she's oddly quiet. You pause and ask, what's going on, babe? I thought you'd be happy for me. She responds, well, I'm just worried. What if you get the job and things change between us? You might get super busy and we won't hang out as much. You reassure her saying, trust me, I can juggle work in us. Plus, this job means a better future for both of us. But she hits back with, it's just that whenever something good happens to you, it feels like I'm getting left behind. Now these examples are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to narcissistic behavior. There's a vast sea of experiences out there and we've only scratched the surface. We want to hear from you. Yes, you. Share your own stories and thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences could help someone who is really struggling. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more content like this. Stay strong, and until next time, keep it real.